Welcome, friends, to the Stories of God for Children this week. As we gather to experience the story of a time when Mary and Martha welcomed Jesus into their home, let's take time to prepare our heart, mind, and body so that we are ready for God as He comes close to us and we come close to Him. One way we do this each week is to light our candle together. I hope you are lighting your candle at home. Today, I'll be lighting my candle at home. It's important that we are reminded that the light of Christ brings us together wherever we are, even through distance, and that God is with us wherever we go. As we begin, let's remember our word of faith that helps us focus this time together. Our word of faith is guide. Guiding is showing the way like the light of Christ shows the way. The stories of God come from the Bible. Take your Bible and turn to the book of Luke that's in the New Testament. Find chapter 10 and follow along as I read verses 38 through 42. Now as they went on their way, he entered a certain village, where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks. So she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. Now, Check out this story video clip. Hi everyone, it's Samuel. This is the story about two different sisters. Jesus comes to visit his friends, Mary and Martha, at their home to have a meal. Martha is making sure the house is perfect. She's cooking and cleaning, and making sure Jesus feels welcome. On the other hand, Mary is sitting with Jesus. She is listening to his stories and learning from his teaching. Mary and Martha are both trying to make sure Jesus has a great stay with them, and they're doing it their own way. There's only one problem. Martha gets really upset that Mary is sitting with Jesus. She doesn't understand how Mary can just relax and talk while she's doing all the work to prepare the meal. Just like Martha, it can be very easy for us to judge people if they don't act how we would act or how we think they should act. Martha was mad at her sister Mary because she wasn't helping her. But Martha didn't realize that Jesus didn't come for a meal. He came to have a relationship and a conversation with them. One time, I was going to a friend's birthday party. I wanted to get the perfect gift. I was looking for it all day and finally got it. But I was too late to the party. I thought the perfect gift would make me a good friend. My friend was grateful for the gift, but I could tell my friend was sad that I had missed so much of the party. Sometimes you forget just being with a friend is enough. Martha showed Jesus love by preparing their home. Mary showed Jesus love by sitting down and listening to him. Mary and Martha are both guides who showed us different ways to be with Jesus and connect to God. Now it's time for you to wonder. I wonder how you choose to show love. Do you show love the same way that your brother, sister, or friends show love? Does love look different for different people, and maybe even at different times? Martha was cooking and cleaning while Mary was sitting and listening to Jesus' words. They both had good intentions, but it was hard for Martha to see that 
Just because they showed love differently didn't mean that Mary was wrong. Jesus calls us to have relationships with his people, with each other. Doing things for others is great, but often we simply need to just stop and listen to them. As you and your family explore your Wonder Cube today, discuss the story of Mary and Martha welcoming Jesus into their home. I wonder where you are in this story today. I wonder if love in your family might look like spending time just listening to each other. Putting away our phones, turning off the television, or stopping whatever we are doing to simply listen to someone else in a way to honor them. I wonder how you can show love today. Don't forget to check out your family activity page for more ideas on how you can reflect on today's story. Think of ways that you can follow the guide that Jesus sets before us and reach out to someone this week. Let's pray together as we go. Dear God, please be our guide as we come to you in prayer and through study today. Remind us that in times when we don't understand, that we can stop and simply listen. Help us to have a calm spirit and to be intentional about sharing your love with our family, neighbors, and friends. Amen. Blessings and peace to you today.